After the print is complete, you will need to remove the magnetic print bit from the heat bit before removing your print. First, wait for the print to be completed and the platform to return to its home position. If need be, remove any filament stringing from the nozzle. Do not touch the nozzle as it will remain hot after a print. Next, using both your index fingers and thumbs, lift the corners of the print bed and separate it from the heat bed. Place your index fingers under the corners of the print bed and your thumbs on the thumbprint icons on the heat bed. With a little force, lift the front end of the print bed to separate it from the heat bed. Then, lift off the print bed with both hands to remove it. Do not remove the print bed with one hand as you can risk damaging both the print bed and the heat bed. For the Prusa Mark 3S printer, you do not need a scraper to remove the 3D printed part. Scrapers can easily damage the Prusa print bed. Flex it slightly on all sides and corners. Roughly 10mm of deflection is sufficient. When you hear that sound, you can remove the 3D part with little effort. Do not flex the print bed too hard as you can permanently deform it. The filament skirt surrounding the print can be easily scraped off with your fingernails. The same can be done for the nozzle wipe at the front of the bed. Make sure there is no remaining filament on the print bed. Now your 3D printed part is ready for use. After removing the print, you will need to clean the print bed with an alcohol swab. You can get an alcohol swab from your lecturer. This will keep the surface clean so that the next print will properly adhere to the print bed. Do not leave fingerprints when cleaning the bed. Try to hold the bed by its edges. Both sides of the bed can be used for printing, so remember to clean the other side as well. Let the bed dry before returning it to the Prusa. To place the print bed onto the Mark 3S, hold it with both hands and gently place the back edge onto the heat bed. When sliding the print bed back, align it with the two screws at the end of the heat bed. Then, lower it slowly onto the magnetic heat bed. Do not do this with one hand or drop the print bed. This will cause misalignment, affect the nozzle height calibration and potentially damage the printer. Do not place the print bed when the print head is too low as it can damage both the print bed and the print head. Instead, raise the height of the print head first. Press the knob, scroll and select settings, then move axis. Scroll and select move Z, then press the knob. Rotate the knob clockwise to increase the Z height. This will move the print head upwards. Then, press the knob to set the Z height and return to the previous menu. Return to the info screen by selecting settings, then main, and finally info screen.